Growing up in Brazil, football means a lot for me. Most of the players from Brazil, they are from favelas, you know, they play football on the streets, they have a financial issue, you know, and football gives us the opportunity to change our lives and our parents' lives. The city I lived when I was young is the most dangerous city in Sao Paulo. My father, he was a, a former police, and this is, was really dangerous because in Brazil, I remember that one time, the criminal organization, they communicate everyone that they're gonna kill all the police, policemen and their families. My mom, she was scared that someone was gonna, gonna take me or so she said, no, you need to leave. And then I left my home for three months. My family, we are five. We are living in uh, one kitchen, one bedroom and toilet, that's it, you know, <laughs> nothing more than this. It was really hard, but honestly, this time we were really happy, you know. That's the beauty of living in favela. Most of people, they, they have nothing, but they, they smile every day, they are happy, they try to make things better. The time I passed there was really important for me as a, as a kid, as a, as, a, as a teenager, as an adult, because I learned, you know, things of the street, you know. You need to show yourself to have a character to play against these big guys, these small guys, whatever you know, challenge you have in front of you, you need to deal with that. And you need to survive, you know, you need to survive. You need to win the ball when you play football, find a way to defend yourself when you have some, some trouble, you know. Uh, and, and you need to do that, you know, by your own, you know. You have nobody, so that's what happened in the, in the street there. FC Santa was a fun history because I remember that I was a kid, I was playing on the street with my friends. And then we have one guy that was uh, Santos FC security. He saw me playing football on the street. And he told my mom, tell Marcelino if you want to try out in Upset Santos. The only way I, sh I could go to train session is with bicycle. I was riding my bicycle uh, one hour and a half from my home to the train center. And then I would spend all day in, in, in train session. And then in the evening I come back home uh, around 11 p.m. For five, six years I was doing that every single day. And that's the way I choose to go to my dream. Follow Marcos Aureli bateu, jogou para dentro da área. I feel that I have a lot of things to, to do in my life still, in football. I don't regret anything I have, I have done because in my heart I know that I give 100% every club I play. Yeah, I thank God for everything I have done for me, man. Golf means a lot for me. I found a way to get myself out of the, the football life a little bit because I think it's important. The pressure to be always the best, to try to you know to improve every day. The competition, you know, is really good. I like it. But when you do that for for 20 years, you now you you fatigue a little bit. And go from helping to uh, to escape a little bit of this this environment it was really important for my mental health as well.